Hello and welcome to this small video tutorial. My name is Christopher Hauer from 4 Fuse, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to import and use the 4 Fuse plugin in Unity. For this tutorial I have already created this small demo scene. And now I want to add a sequence to its podium. So, to get things started, let's go to the 4 Fuse website, 4dfuse.com. On 4dfuse.com we have a resources tab. After agreeing to the terms and condition, I'm going to download the presenting Holosys data package. I'm also going to download the Unity 4 Fuse plugin. After the downloads have finished, let's go back to the project. Let's start by importing the plugin as the custom package. Right click into the project folder tab and select import package custom package. Find the Unity plugin for the S package and open it. You will find this new little window right here. Click import. Upon import, a couple new folders will appear in your project. One is 4D Fuse, one Plugins, one Scenes, as it doesn't already exist, and one labeled Editor. We want to add two more folders into our project folder. So let's right click, Create, Folder, and let's call this one Streaming Assets. This is a case-sensitive folder and must be spelled this way. It will contain all of our 4DS data. Let's also create a second folder and I'm just going to call it Audio Sources to store our WAF audio files. Our downloaded sample data package will have multiple sample 4DS files. For this, I'm going to choose the filtered desktop HR version. So I'm going to drag and drop it into the streaming assets folder. I'm also going to select the audio WAV file from the sample data package and drag and drop it into our audio sources folder. Now that we have everything imported, let's go into the 4D Fuse folder and find the prefab, sequence 4DS. Let us drag and drop this prefab into our scene. Let's put it right here. In the hierarchy, you can now see the sequence 4DS game object. Open it to find its child mesh 4DS and select it into our inspector. Next, we want to assign our sequence 4DS data to our game object. Let's find our streaming assets and drag and drop our sample 4DS data into the sequence name of the plugin 4DS script of the game object Mesh 4DS. Once you've dropped it, our Mesh will appear in our scene. Sometimes it is more convenient if the data is not saved in streaming assets. For example, if you're using an external hard drive to save the data. In that case, you can also deselect the in streaming assets checkbox right here and then find the data path to the sequence. In our case, we won't be needing that. In the new version, it is also possible to stream the data from a network using a an URL. The data will then be downloaded and decoded just before playing. The other options of the plugin for the script is to enable or disable autoplay on the start of the sequence, to change the preview frame in our scene, to change the active frame during playing, to change the replay speed of our sequence, or to show some debug information. I hope that this short tutorial was helpful to get you started. For further questions about our plugin, our, our holographic capturing technology Holosys, please contact us on our website 4dfuse.com.